Today, we're profiling one side of a battle raging in the background. You don't hear about it too much because it's about charging. And we arrive on the letter C, Chatamo. Welcome to the ABC of EVs. My name is Martin Lee. And if you like this series of videos we're making, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the little bell icon down there so you never miss a show. So what is Chatamo? Let's take a step back for a moment. Some people watching this will be watching because they want to find out what it is. Maybe they're new to EVs. Well, to reduce charging to a really basic level, you've got your slow charging, that's called AC charging, and you've got faster DC charging. And apart from the Renault Zoe, and maybe a couple of others, nearly all EVs can DC fast charge. So when we talk about CHAdeMO, we're talking about a standard that fast charges electric cars, and most notably, the Nissan Leaf. One of the most important EVs in the world, and up until recently, the world's best-selling EV. So if you want to charge your Nissan Leaf away from home and quickly, you'll be plugging in to a CHAdeMO plug. Now, a quick digression. Any guesses as to what CHAdeMO actually means? If you don't already know, you probably won't guess. Let's test out my Japanese. O CHAdeMO Ikago Desuka. Sorry, Japanese viewers, that was probably really bad. It roughly translates to let's have a tea while charging. It's also an abbreviation of charge de move, meaning charging for moving. Clever. So if Chatamo is so important, well, who's using it? Well, let's rewind a few years and before the CCS plug was around, before great cars like the world's best-selling EV, uh, the Model 3, and performance cars like the Taycan, e-tron, Lucid, back then, there was really just the Nissan Leaf in the game. It ruled the roads, and when on the move, the Nissan Leaf was charging, DC fast charging, with the CHAdeMO plug. Naturally, it's a connection used mostly by the Japanese and their cars, Nissan being a Japanese company. For instance, rewind to May 2015. There were 290 of them in the UK, 170 in Norway, and 5,500 of them in Japan. Times moved on. The Nissan Leaf kept selling, and by the middle of 2019, there were more than 25,000 of them around the world. You know what they say, if there's 10 different standards for some sort of application, somebody will come along and say, we need a standard to unite them all, and what you're left with is 11 different standards. Well, to an extent, something similar has happened with EV fast charging. So you have Tesla's supercharging network. In North America, this is a proprietary network. For the rest of us, we use, well, here in Europe, the CCS plug in China. Tesla put the GBT plug on the side of their cars. But mostly in the US, you'll see people talking about the Tesla supercharging network in terms of Tesla's own connector. Then there's the combined charging system. We call it CCS for short. And then you have the CHAdeMO plug. Back in 2012, European and US car makers like Audi, BMW, GM, all agreed to use the CCS standard on their future cars. At the end of 2012, Tesla rolled out their own supercharging station. And as a result, we now have three standards vying for domination. For those of us that just want to get on with charging and driving, it would be handy to have one, I suppose. Tesla superchargers are a really unique selling point, so they're not going to stop making them anytime soon in the US. The battle may rage on for many years, and we'll get used to having a variety of plugs. We've only touched on charging speeds a little so far, so let's look into the details of how fast you can charge on a CHAdeMO connector. Well, we're talking about CHAdeMO in context of Nissan, Mitsubishi, Subaru, and Toyota. They joined later as a fifth member, actually, of CHAdeMO. Let's look at the Nissan Leaf, since it's far and away the most numerous of the cars with that socket on. Even going back to the earlier models, the Leaf could pull kind of mid-40s in terms of kilowatts, the speed of which it's charging on a rapid DC charger. That's really impressive, considering the usable battery was 22 kilowatt hours in the early days. Those charge speeds, unfortunately, didn't really improve over time as the Leaf went through its various iterations, at least until the latest version came out. The newest model with a usable battery of 56 kilowatt hours can now take up to 100 kilowatts on a rapid charger. But worth noting, so much of the CHAdeMO infrastructure is now aging around the world because it was the first. So most of the chargers will put out around a maximum of 50 kilowatts. On the other hand, the CHAdeMO connector is known for its reliability. 
Although Chanamo's legacy is in relatively slow, rapid charging, if that makes sense, they have published a new protocol for the future of Chadamo with 400 kilowatt ultra rapid charging. Now that is fast. And let's face it, it's not here now, but it is coming. So we think Chadamo will be around for a while yet. I don't know how I've got this far in the video without talking about vehicle to grid. That is taking energy out of your electric vehicle and transferring it to the electric grid. We call it vehicle to home sometimes or vehicle to load, basically by directionality. And only Chadamo at the moment can do that on a wide scale. Now I'd love vehicle to grid to be a lot more widespread than it actually is, but in fairness to Chadamo, it's been available for 10 years, there's been trials, even some commercial applications out there, but with the rollout of smart meters in many countries, it'll be so useful to store energy in your car when it's cheap and run your house off your car when energy is more expensive. It's a hugely exciting part of the Chadamo concept, but bidirectionality with the CCS standard is a reality, and we hope that one of those formats at some point becomes widespread. So what's the future of Chadamo? There's a lot to like about the Chadamo connection. There's also a few things to be concerned about. For instance, here in the UK, the writing seems to be on the wall. Nissan, an early supporter of Chadamo and the longest supporter, is releasing their new car here, the Aria without it. It's got a CCS plug on the side. And those of us with Leafs wonder how long our connection will stick around in five or 10 years. Will there be chargers with Chadamo plugs on still working? We don't know for sure. We really hope so. In Japan and China, of course, their standards will remain. But here in Europe and in the US, looks like Tesla and CCS will probably be ruling the roads in the near future. Well, thank you so much for tuning in today. Another installment of the ABC of EVs, trying to teach more people about the world of electric vehicles. What do you think of the Chadamo plug? It has many, many advantages and a few disadvantages as well. Are you a long time leaf driver? Do you love the plug or do you think perhaps its days are numbered? Let us know in the comments below and we'll keep the conversation going. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and we know to make more just like it. And we'll see you on the next one.